and shortcomings. With a minute silence for the departed souls, including servicemen who have lost their lives in terrorist attacks across the nation, the discussion assumes a sober mood. This meeting with members of the media in Abuja was called at the behest of Kibaku Area Development Association, KADA, an association of people from Chibok local government area of Bronu State. They read out a very worrying statistics, showing that Chibok has suffered 72 attacks since 2012, including the adoption of 270 schoolgirls from a government girls' secondary school in April 2014, which brought the community into limelight. We have tallied about 72 number of attacks within this period under review. Approximately, this is just an approximation, 407 people have been killed in Chibok. Abductions are over 332. Houses and businesses that have been burnt are unquantifiable. Churches, we have counted through the missions over 20. Vehicles that have been destroyed or taken away are also unaccountable. Grains burns, burnt or destroyed, unquantifiable. While these attacks have occurred for over 10 years, the group says the attacks have intensified since 2018. Among their requests is the establishment of an internally displaced persons camp in the local government. They say the persistent crisis have overwhelmed all attempts by the community to cater for their victims. We're asking the government to seek for support, to synergize with our security forces in confronting this menace so as to end the sustained carnage on our people. By so doing, we believe, we expect our remaining 110 daughters that were abducted in April 2014 and numerous others subsequently abducted, like the ones I told you in Kautika, in PME, to be brought back to us. Number two, we appeal to the federal government to immediately set up an IDP camp in Chubok town and provide Chubok with a skills acquisition center so as to avoid imminent hunger and starvation in Chubok. Reacting to the efforts by the government of Bronu State to resettle internally displaced persons, the group says the government should focus on areas like Chibok. If the effort being championed in the other area is focused on Chibok, we will have had our roads open by now. People are driving from Maiduguri through Kondiga, Bama to Goza now. Why is the Dambua Maiduguri road still closed? If there is effort from government, that road should have been cleared of terrorists and at least allowed to be used by, 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 by the people. And that is a serious federal front road that is very important as far as food and agriculture is concerned. That is not done. So what we are saying is attacks on Chubo is not happening in the day, in, in the night as it used to be before. Now we have constant attack in the daytime. Group dismissed claims that Chibok community was being targeted for destruction for religious reasons. Ferdinand Duroha, Arise News.